obviously the preparation is uh, ongoing and um, we are um, ju just uh, two months basically ahead of the tournament now um, in the final stage of the preparations. Um, we have our teams um, on site. We are recruiting um, our venue media managers for each uh, of the stadiums. Um, that will then ensure that all the media facilities are uh, properly installed and all the services um, for the journalists um, will be um, implemented. So, um, yeah, organization or uh, the, the um, operations are um, in full swing basically, and um, we are then uh, hopefully ready in two months uh, to welcome you all. It's a different scenario. I mean, uh, Qatar was um, very, uh, a very compact nature, um, so we had a, a main media center, uh, similar to the Olympics. Um, obviously now um, in Australia and New Zealand um, the, the footprint of the tournament is completely different um, and therefore um, we, we're going to have um, decentralized media facilities so everything is really um, clustered around the, um, the stadium or inside the stadium so you will find uh, obviously a media center, a press conference room, a mixed zone uh, and a media tribune directly in each um, of the stadiums but there is no centralized facility such as um, the main media center that we had in Qatar. Well, I, I can only encourage you to, to really, um, if you don't live in Australia and New Zealand, um, come and join us in, in uh, Australia and New Zealand, even if it uh, is a long travel, um, but it's definitely going to be worth it. It's going to be an amazing uh, tournament um, and it's definitely worth to, to follow uh, women's football um, and that's the great opportunity to come uh, and visit us in, in Australia and New Zealand. Many thank you there for giving me your time to the Sentinel Digital. Thank you.